Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Peter Oluoch. I talk to people about the stock market. Tell them to save, invest, grow wealth. And become rich. And become uh, wealthy. And live a comfortable life. Today's topic is this. What I wish I knew when I was 20. I'm reading a lot about uh, rich people. The stories of Warren Buffett. The stories of Richard Branson. The stories of uh, Bill Gates. The stories of Jack Ma, Alibaba. The stories of uh, Elon Musk. The stories of Jeff Bezos. These billionaires understood the power of the mass market well early on. They understood that to make billions of shillings, then you need to impact the life of billions of people. I didn't know this when I was 20. And I wish someone told me about this when I was 20. And so, ladies and gentlemen, the inability to know that you make money by impacting billions of people affected my investment journey, affected my savings journey, affected my ability to grow money quickly and to grow wealthy fast. But it's not too late. I've started now and I'm impacting the life of 8,000 people. And you know what? If you can impact the life of millions of people, thousands of people, helping them to grow rich, they will also help you to grow rich. That's the way it works. It's a give and take. You scratch my back, I scratch your back. You scratch my back, I scratch your back. In the year 20, 2018, Jack Ma came to the University of Nairobi. And Jack Ma told us one thing. That if you touch the life of one person, you don't become rich. If you touch the life of millions of people, you become rich. You become millionaire. If you touch the life of billions of people, you've become, you also become a billionaire. So what is Jack Ma doing? Jack Ma set up an online shop, an e-commerce shop called Alibaba, based in China, where the Chinese can buy and sell goods on the stock on on on, on the on, on the over the internet. And so, with the 1.5 billion Chinese, Jack Ma is able to help a lot of people buy and sell things over the internet. And Jack Ma has been able to grow his wealth up to about 70 billion dollars. He's not the only person. We have Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg with his Facebook venture is able to reach 2 billion people. And reaching 2 billion people who are connected to each other and talking to each other, relatives connected to others and friends connected to others and reconnecting high school friends and college friends and and reconnecting people generally, Mark Zuckerberg has been able to grow his net worth to more than a hundred billion dollars. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you you are able to impact the life of many people, those many people will also help you grow rich. This is one thing I wish I knew when I was twenty, when I was in my twenties. I would be able then to think outside the box and try to impact the life of many, 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 many people. And the second thing I wish I knew when I was uh, younger is the power of compound interest. You see, compound interest is a formula that all of us were taught in school. But none of us was told how it is implemented practically. And so I learned of compound interest much later in life. Actually, I learned of it about 
ten years ago maybe ten years ago is a uh, high time maybe 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 five years back after learning of it or rather the second time I was learning of it about five years back then now I started thinking of how to put it into practice how to put it into practice for myself and how to put it into practice for others and so for myself I discovered that the best way to grow money quickly using the power of compound interest is first you begin by saving. If you save money over a period of time, the money grows or rather the wallet becomes big. If you keep doing that, the wallet gets bigger and bigger and bigger. But now money saving money alone does not grow money. Money grows if you invest it. If you invest it, of course we have been told of investing like putting money in the bank. Money grows but it grows very slowly. Putting money in insurance companies and buying investment products, money grows but it grows very slowly. Putting your money in the money market, money grows but it grows very slowly. Putting your money in treasury bills and bonds. Your money grows but it also grows very slowly. Putting your money in the stock market is where the magic happens. And especially if you can be doing that regularly, you buy a stock. Eh? When it's 10 shillings, it goes to 12 shillings, you sell, then you make your 20% return. If you can be doing that and growing your money and growing your money, even if you're growing it by one dollar, one dollar, even if you're growing it by 10, a thousand shillings, a thousand Kenya shillings, it is a thousand Kenya shillings which you didn't have. So you make a thousand shillings today. Tomorrow again you grow it by another one thousand shillings. Tomorrow again you grow it by another one thousand shillings. If you are able to do that every day, then by the end of the year you shall have grown your money by three sixty-five thousand shillings. If you repeat that for ten years, you shall have grown your money by three point six million. Ladies and gentlemen, these are some of the things I wish I knew when I was twenty years the power of compound interest, the power to grow money, the eighth wonder of the world. If you are new to this channel, subscribe. If you are not in our Telegram group, join our Telegram group. Thank you so much and enjoy your day. Bye.